What is going on guys? Today in this video we're going to be talking about why most people are incorrectly searching for their products on Amazon. And by the end of this video you're going to know exactly how to properly search and find the correct keyword for the product that you're looking for. So when we go on Amazon you're going to know exactly the correct keyword phrase to type in for that product idea that you have. That way you get the most accurate numbers when you run your Chrome extension for Jungle Scout or Viral Launch or whatever you guys use. So now let's get into the video. One more thing before we get into the video, here we are on the homepage for my channel. And you guys, if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe right here. And we are at 3,765. Thank you to all of you who subscribe and support the channel and leave likes, leave comments. I appreciate all of it. And if you guys want to email me and get into my private course or get my private mentorship, then this is my email right above, right here, askrileyturner at gmail.com. And if you guys don't know what that is, it is a private course taught by myself and it takes you through the whole Amazon selling process from start to finish. And it also comes with a ton of other different things such as my personal unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship so I get to work with you one-on-one -on -one directly and you also get a lot of my custom email templates for things like profit calculations negotiations and inquiries for suppliers all that good stuff you also get access to our private Facebook group where all the students interact and network with each other so if you guys are interested in that and you guys want to invest in yourself your business or your future then email me right here and also my Instagram sorry wrong side my Instagram is right there if you guys want to ask ask me a question and DM me on Instagram, whatever you guys prefer. You can also use that to ask me to get into the course. Then I will get back to you guys as soon as I can with some more detail. Okay, so here we are on the Amazon homepage and I'm pretty sure all of you guys should be familiar with this, hopefully. So there are a ton of different ways for you to find products and use product research ideas and tools and strategies to find good profitable products. Now this is so you get the correct numbers when you run your Chrome extension because we don't wanna get the wrong sales numbers, the wrong review numbers, the wrong sales price, because that will really mess up things in the long run. So we wanna make sure we're getting the most accurate numbers for sales, reviews, and pricing. That way we really know what we're getting into and we are making sure we are accurately searching for these products on Amazon. I'm gonna show you the wrong way of doing this. And the reason I'm making this video is because I get tons of emails from all of you guys. And sometimes people will give me a product idea and ask me what I think about it, but they give me a really bad keyword phrase for it. So. Basically, they're putting way too much detail into their keywords. So when they search it on Amazon, it has way too much detail and it's not gonna show you the accurate numbers for what you should be seeing. For example, let's say one of my subscribers, one of you guys emails me and says, hey, I want to sell this product. And they give me a keyword phrase like this. So let's say it's water bottle. So they put water bottle insulated uh, stainless steel and we'll go 32 ounce and then black okay so the point of this video is that is not how you correctly search for a product idea on amazon that is way too detailed and you're not going to get accurate numbers you want to get the most accurate number that you can when you run your jungle scout so you need to stop doing this and you need to look at the keyword that you just typed in. So we have water bottle insulated stainless steel 32 ounce black. So we need to look at that keyword phrase that we just typed in and see what we can remove from it to make it more generalized or broad. And that way we can get more accurate numbers because we don't want to fool ourselves. So when we run the numbers on a keyword phrase that's very specific like this, you're gonna have sales numbers and review numbers that are gonna be much lower than what they really are because you're putting so much specific keywords into what you're searching so you're gonna get less results and when you have less results you're gonna have lower sales numbers lower review numbers and then possibly it will look like a good product and you may end up going with it and then later on you will say oops and you will realize that you typed in too much detail and you did not get the accurate numbers so basically you thought you were getting into a good product but you were not so water bottles are not gonna be the best example because no matter what I type in for water bottle, it's always gonna have a ton of reviews and a ton of sellers because water bottles are so popular. So don't sell products like that. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys the sales numbers differences from when I type in so much detail like this and we're gonna use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. And if you guys don't have this, it will be down below in the description and also the Viral Launch website will be down below too. They also have a Chrome extension like this and I like both of them. So we're gonna look at the sales numbers and the review numbers for this detailed keyword. So we have 1,150 reviews average. 
with 5,390 sales average. So now I'm gonna exit out of this and we're gonna remove what doesn't need to be there. So first off, we want to remove uh, the color for sure because the color is something that is not important and we can do different variations of color and it's not gonna matter really. Now some things you do want to keep, usually you don't wanna go too, too broad because if we just did water bottle, that's too broad. I usually like to put one specific keyword with the broadest key term. So if our key term is water bottle, that's gonna be the most broad thing you can do, but that is going to be a little bit too broad. So you gotta find the sweet spot right in the middle. So maybe we have a insulated one or a stainless steel one, or maybe ours is bigger than usual. Maybe it's like a 42 ounce or something like that. So whatever stands out the most about your product, you can include one detailed keyword. So let's say what stands out most about my water bottle that I want to sell is it is insulated. So we're gonna keep insulated and we are going to research it and see if we get more inflated numbers so the numbers should be higher than before. If I could remember, it was something like 1,150 and then 5,390. So now we're gonna research this and then we're gonna run the Jungle Scout Chrome extension again and see if the numbers are higher now. So they should be. Now the average reviews are 1,820 and then the average sales are 7,712. So it increased, uh, for sales it increased about 2,200-ish and then for the reviews it increased about 700-ish. So that is a big difference. If you guys are not typing in a good keyword uh, and it's very broad, but also slightly specific if your product has something special about it, say it was very insulated, then that is something that you would want to include, but not too specific because you're gonna be fooling yourself. You're gonna think you're going with a good product, but really it's gonna be a bad product and you will find that out later. So make sure you are typing in the correct keywords or else you will make a mistake and regret it. Now, one more cool thing that you guys can really incorporate into your product research or making sure that you have the most accurate keywords is with the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So if we go ahead and run the numbers here again, at the very bottom, you're gonna have this little cloud. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Hopefully I don't have it cut off when I'm recording. So it says associated keywords. So when we click on that, it's gonna give us some more keywords and it's gonna show us what keywords are the most popular. So let me go ahead and move myself over a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now you guys can see the the more popular ones are gonna be the dark orange and also they're gonna be bigger than the rest. Uh, the middle to less accurate ones are gonna be the lighter orange and the smaller mid-sized ones. And then the least accurate ones are gonna be these small black ones. So as we can see here for the water bottle, we have the most popular keywords being bottle, insulated, steel, stainless, vacuum, water. And then we also have some lesser ones that are like cold and hot and flask and different things like that. So this is a good way for you to come in here and see what is necessary. So just like I said earlier, you guys need to be using a very broad key term. And then you guys can also include one specific keyword that is really relevant to the product you're selling. So if you're really focused on an insulated water bottle, then that would be a good one to include and that's what I did and as you can see here on the Chrome extension we have bottle water and insulated as three of the main ones and that's what we typed in so that's perfect for us we had a very good search now if you come in here and you see some of your keywords are small ones say hydro or flask or drinking anything like that that's not huge and bold and orange then you might want to remove it because it's less relevant and you're probably just diluting your search to give you less accurate numbers and we want to stay away from that that way we get the most accurate numbers and we don't fool ourselves so once again if you guys want to get this jungle scout tool then i will have it linked down in the description for you guys so that is going to be it for this video and i have one more question before you guys go this is kind of a personal question from a friend to a friend or me to you guys uh, asking for some advice. I want to know if you guys want to see other videos that are not Amazon FBA related. And I originally didn't only create this channel for Amazon FBA. I also wanted to talk a lot about personal finance and finance in general, because I really, really enjoy that. That's probably one of my biggest passions is finance in general and money management. And you can even see on my YouTube banner up here, it says finance under my name. And that just shows you that when I created this channel, I had the mindset of doing entrepreneurship stuff, finance stuff, and Amazon FBA stuff. I wanted to talk about all these different things. But 
But so far, I haven't really talked about anything but Amazon FBA. So please let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see me talk about money management and personal finance? Um, because I love talking about that. And I want to know what you guys think. And this channel is for you guys, helping you guys. So let me know if you want to see anything different, even credit card stuff. I don't care. Let me know. Shoot me any ideas down below. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, then go down below and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And last but not least, go down below, leave me a comment, let me know if you subscribed, also let me know if you have any questions, and I respond to every single comment. So that's it for this one, guys. I will see you guys in the next video, or I will see you guys if you guys email me to get into my private course or get my private mentorship. And also, I want to see the comments down below letting me know what you think about me making other videos about finance. And if you guys have any recommendations, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.